we're taking a look at how to solve systems of equations through word problems. So we have a word problem, we're going to solve a system of equations, but the problem, the biggest problem is taking the text and converting it into English. It's already in English. Taking the text and converting it into mathematics. So we start with a grocer prepares a mixture of 30 pounds of dried fruit to sell for $4.10 per pound. For the, uh, for the mixture, he uses two types of dried fruit. Um, it doesn't tell us what kind of fruit, so I'm going to make fruit up. Uh, my favorite dried fruit is cherries. So we're going to have cherries because they're sweet. And uh, does someone else particularly like another kind of dried fruit? Uh, Molly? Raisins. raisins. Okay, so cherries and raisins. Applesauce is not a dried fruit. Matthew McPherson has yet to learn that applesauce is not dry. It's wet. Maybe your family's been doing it wrong all this time. So, we have cherries and raisins, and I'm going to say the cherries are selling at $4.30 per pound. And the raisins are selling for $3.90 per pound. I'm just writing this out so I'm, I'm doing okay. All right. So we're going to mix these two things together, and we are going to make a mixture that has a total of 35 pounds and is going to sell for 4.10 per pound. Do I have anything other than cherries and raisins? No. Okay. So if I'm combining cherries and raisins together, how do I write that mathematically? C plus R. So I have C plus R. And that is going to equal how many? 30 pounds. So C, C in this case, is the number of pounds of cherries. And R is the number of pounds of raisins. Okay. So if I add the number of pounds of cherries plus the number of pounds of raisins, I will get 30 pounds. That's a lot of dried fruit. Okay. How much is the cherry, how much do cherries cost normally just by themselves? 4.30. So 4.3 C plus how much do the raisins normally cost? 3.90. So I'm saying that $4.30 times the number of pounds of cherries plus $3.90 times the number of pounds of raisins, because that's the cost per pound, is equal to, now wait a second, it tells us that we, we're going to be selling this thing for $4.10 per pound. What is the total cost of my 30 pounds? How would I figure that out? Um, Paige. Okay, $4.10 times the number of pounds, 30 pounds. And so this is $123 of dried fruit. Oh. This is just a system of equations. Both of these equations are written in standard form. Therefore, I am going to solve this using the multiplication and subtraction method, also known as the elimination method. You've already learned in the previous problems that if I have one in standard form and one equation in slope-intercept form, I'm probably going to use substitution. But we have two standard form expressions, so let's go ahead and use elimination. What can I multiply this whole thing by to create the opposites that I need? Um, Matt? 4.3. Now, if I were to multiply everything by 4.3, will I get the opposite of 4.3c? No, so, negative. Okay, so this needs to be a negative. All right. 
So clearly, negative 4.3 times c is negative 4.3 c plus. Negative 4.3 times r is negative 4.3 r. And four, negative 4.3 times 30, I don't know off the top of my head, so I will just go ahead and do that. And I get 100. Does that seem right? Yes. 29, and that's a negative. Are we okay so far? Yes. Okay. So now, since we have opposites, we can go ahead and add the two expressions. 4.3c minus 4.3c, well, that just cancels out. 4.9r minus 4.3r is going to be negative. 0.4 r. And that will be equal to, well, I just do the subtraction. That one's not too bad, negative 6. So then what do I have to do to both sides to get the r all by itself? Divide by negative 0.4. Yeah, let's divide by negative 0.4, divide by negative 0 0.4. And we are going to get 6 divided by 0.4. Nope, that's 6.4. 6 divided by 0.4. And so that means we have r is equal to 15 pounds. All right. If I have 15 pounds of raisins and I have 30 total pounds of dried fruit, how many pounds of cherries do I have? 15. 15. All right. That is not so bad. Are there questions? OK. So right now, I would like you to try the previous problem, number 21.